So we are off again today, um, working on some of the issues that Mason has going on health-wise. I've been working closely with doctors. They've been able to get some things accomplished for us. They gave me a call yesterday and have him an appointment for a sedated MRI this morning. So hopefully by next week, we'll know what the plan of action is. Stay tuned for our journey. We are here! Yes, we are. Ready for your next adventure? Yeah! Alright. <laughs> on board your chariot. <laughs> what is the building behind us, Mason? It's the place where I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie Palmer. <laughs> awesome hospital. Movie snuggle time? Chick fil A? Chick fil A on the way home? Yeah. I love you. Wakey, wakey. I love you. Mason and I are at the doctor's today to get the results for the MRI that he had recently. Hopefully we have good news. We're not sure, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Thought we were gonna have some good news for you. But of course, Mason has a complicated case. Yeah, we went, we went up the hill and down. We did. First, the nurse practitioner had talk, came in and talked to us, and it didn't seem like they were looking at having surgery done. But when the doctor came in and after he talked with us and discussed um, Mason's signs and symptoms and then looked at the film, we noticed where Mason's spinal cord disappears into scar tissue. So with that said, um, it's time that he has surgery to release um, the tethering of this cord with the, the tissue. So it's not anything immediate that has to be done right now, but it does need to be done. So the scheduling team will be getting with me to um, figure out when we're going to get this done. So stay tuned. We still have more of a medical adventure to go on. And we have, and we're at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> what else better to get rid of all the downs than Chick-fil-A, right? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, buddy. 
subscribe, <sighs> click the notification button. Ahead and put the milk in there, right there, and the butter and the. Be Mama's little helper. Yep. Yeah. Sous chef. And what are we making right now? Uh, butternut squash. That's right. Casserole. Casserole. Yeah. Butternut squash. Butternut crunch. Yeah. Butternut crunch casserole. All right, and then take the sugar. Go ahead and put that in there. So, all of it, or mm -hmm. just all of it? Okay. Look at that mouth. Mm-hmm. And then get through your lid. No lid. Pop it on there. And Pop, that's the right. On. Pop it on there. Done a really good job. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead. It's ready. I'm going to chop the walnuts. So one third cup of salt rising flour. One cup brown sugar. All right. Looky there. One cup, one third cup Melted butter. Ugh. Perfect. One um, half a teaspoon of salt over here. Kind of fell a little. There. Got it. One cup chopped walnuts. Mm -hmm. Time to stir. So we're off to corn casserole. Mason and I sit here making food together as our tradition every year since he was little. This year he's more hands-on. We think about all the things we are so thankful for. And today, as we are preparing for our Thanksgiving meal and sharing it with friends, we are very thankful to hear some very good news today. We have been waiting on hearing from a doctor about some upcoming surgeries for Mason. And we have since um, heard from the neurologist who called me personally to let me know that he had spoke with some other colleagues and they had a conference about Mason's case. 
And they wanted to know how Mason and I would feel if he ended up losing function in his lower legs because where they were having to do surgery for uh, detethering and having back surgery because of the pain he's having would start at his L3, which is the exact spot where Mason has function right now. They couldn't guarantee that Mason wouldn't lose function after the surgery. So we all made a decision to manage Mason's pain until the time that he actually does start losing function. And then at that time we would try and save the function. His doctors want him to continue being active. They're very, very proud of him for doing his sled hockey and his water skiing and all of his other adaptive sports, um, the track and field, the hand cycle. And they want him to continue. They feel like it is not harming him in any way. So at the time he starts losing function, we will actually try and save his functionality. With that, um, the surgery has been postponed, which we're very grateful for. This morning, I had a virtual meeting with Mason Gerologist, and after looking at all the factors, he is wanting to try a treatment. It would be a surgery, but wouldn't be as invasive as the other surgeries that he had talked about. And he wants to try that since Mason seems to be doing a little bit better and he's gonna continue staying on some medication that is a preventative medication for him to hopefully not have these UTIs that are causing the kidney infections. So that is our hope, is that it works. We will have to see, but we are all in for trying one more thing before we go into some serious uh, surgeries. So this is what we are thankful for, is um, for the doctors taking their time um, really listening to us and getting opinions from other doctors and doing what's best for Mason. So we appreciate them as well. And so Mason and I fix our meal with a loving heart. Um, and we um, hope that this will be the trick and the end of this journey so far for the time being on our medical issues. So we hope you have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving as we continue preparing our meals. Stay safe. Please like raise but subscribe, click the notification button to make sure you miss any of our videos. Share and give us a big thumbs up. Bye. Peace, lovers, but.